Well, Brian, another day at White Swan. What do we figure today? Well, it's, I think we're gonna be in shallow, clear water. Shallow, clear water. You know, we, we, we've been up here a couple of days and we have seen the fish move in shallow water. And I think what we wanna show everybody today is how to fish shallow waters. That might mean taking off the indicator. That's right. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of times we call it fishing naked, yep. right? You take off the indicator, long leaders, and potentially, what do you think, maybe uh, mayflies? Well, hopefully mayflies saw, saw a few yep. the other day, and hopefully it's a nice, it's a little cloudy to end today, so. Cronomids potentially, maybe some damsels yeah. moving. Maybe some damsels. And potentially, the booby. The booby. Lots of marl and clear, shallow water. Yeah, the fish love that in that shallow marl bottom, don't they? So do we. <laughs> <laughs> so shallow water today, as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander Reels, Precision Reels. Hardy and Gray's Fly Fishing Rods, Born to Fish. And the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Catch what you've been missing, Go Fish BC. So the best way to come onto a shoal is if you have an electric motor, obviously an advantage. You know, stealth mode. Stealth mode. Because they can hear the motor. And they're real spooky too. I mean, we've got calm water. You try That's to right. fish indicators or anything like that. I know when it hits the water, it spooks the fish. That's so right. We really have to be stealthy. So we'll put down the electric, we'll putt around. What me and Brian are gonna do is actually, we're gonna search for fish. Yep. Essentially, we can see down six, eight feet, no problem. Yep. Clear water, moral yeah. bottom, and you can see the fish move. So we're gonna locate them first. Use this. And use the electric motor. So let's go on. Let's go and check it out, see where they're hiding. So we haven't seen any in here, Brian. Nothing in really oh, shallow. They're behind us. They're but out they're out here. there, aren't they? Yeah. So a little deeper water, probably yeah. what, eight feet? Eight feet. Okay, well that's good. Wanna well, drop them? Sure. Another really important part about this, even when you're fishing, when there's a little riffle or wind, Brian's got a two anchor system on this boat and it's very important to have two anchors. If you don't have two anchors, you end up drifting all over, you can't control your line. And you lower them quietly. Very quiet. <laughs> but you've got a perfect setup. I mean, having the big one off the front, another one off the back, you can't beat it. They don't no. move. Nice and quiet. We're here. We're good. All right. What are you going to start with? I might put the leech on. Leech to it's start? early in the morning. Leech is always oh. a great starting pattern. Oh, and there was a nice fish just rolled over there. All right. Let's get at it. I think I'll start with a leech, too. Oh, he is right towards it. There he is. He's on it. Get on him. Oh, yeah. He's on it. I got there, him. you got him. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. That was just the <laughs> best. Oh, wow. That was awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> Crank it up. <laughs> we called it. We just saw him. Oh, this is just the best. Oh. Brian saw a fish coming in from the left-hand side, going right towards his fly, a couple little tweaks, fish turned around and just ate it. <laughs> Shallow water fishing to me is oh. just like bone fishing, it's like anything. This is the best. It is the best. A fish like this is worth how many on the bob? Oh, totally. You get to sight fish, you get to watch them come in, I love that. And it's a nice fish. <laughs> it's a good... You know, to start off, this is probably, you know, it's probably an 18 inch fish. Yeah. We expect them up to 26 inches in here feeding later on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> that was so cool. There he is, right? Nice. Good job, Don. Nice fish. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, Wasn't that good? Call on that. <laughs> <laughs> Crank it up. Crank it up. Oh, wow, we can see them coming in. You know they're going to eat it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to. I'm going to show everybody the fly too. I think that's a real good pattern that you're using. There it is, there, right? Eh? 
Yeah, the little beadhead maroon leech. Yeah. One of your start starter go-tos all yep, the time. Absolutely. Well, let's show everybody that guy. That's a nice, nice fish. Think this guy's coming off the spawn or is he pretty fresh? I don't oh, know, he's pretty not, fresh. Not too yeah. bad. Nice fish. Nice size. There you go. Yeah, decent. There, there he goes. goes. Feeding along. Uh, Roy, the good start. <laughs> a good start to the shallow water fishing. I mean, this could be a phenomenal day. Could be. What we're looking for, though, is real calm winds, right? You don't want much wind? Yeah. No, at least to, to mark them, to yeah. locate where they are. Sometimes uh, a bit of, just a bit of riffle will help mask us, because right. it's it's pretty, you know, it could oh, be yes. pretty challenging. I'm, we're using long leaders. Yeah, well, long, yeah, a good example of long. 20 like, foot, 20 foot right? leaders. Plus, yeah. Get that line away from yeah. it. <laughs> and fluorocarbon helps. Wow, when we come back, some more great shallow water fishing from White, White Swan Lake. That's where that White Swan Lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We've got a bit of glare in the water, wow. so it's a little tougher to see them. It is. It was tough. I didn't but see that you. guy, that guy was falling the whole way. A long ways. A long ways. Yeah. But he didn't take it right off the bat. He waited, he waited, he waited, and it wasn't until I stripped it a little quicker that he <laughs> ate it. Wow. Leeches in the early morning. Leeches in early morning. This guy looks, is he a Celt? Or no, he looks pretty fresh. No, he looks good. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That's great though, in the yeah. shallow water. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And look at that, right in the top lip. Like they're just sneaking up behind it. Yeah. Right, they're not aggressively chasing it right now. Yeah, nice fish. This guy's a little thin. Yeah, that's yeah, a Celt. That's a Celt. Yeah. Excellent. Wow, well, then, oh, my fly just came out. It just popped out. Just popped out. Well, let's let this guy go. He's a Celt, as you mentioned. He's just coming off the spawn. Nice long fish, but fairly, you know, slender fairly. Slender still, but yeah, poking up. Slender. So we should probably talk a little bit, too, about uh, about this fishery. You know, that was a Celt. Obviously, there's natural re recruitment in this lake. That's right. So Celts is the term we use to uh, describe fish that have spawned and uh, successfully, because trout, unlike salmon, trout can repeat spawn. Right. And so that fish is on the shoals feeding aggressively to get fat and in another month that fish will be well sil silvered up and, and a little thicker in its body and by this fall it'll be a beautiful fish. Right. And the lake is managed, the Ministry of Environment manages this lake for a wild uh, recruitment, natural recruitment. It yeah. used to be stocked uh, but it no longer is. And the strain of trout in Old White Swan Lake are very Gerard-like. They're not Gerards, okay. but they're very similar. Which they're means long, they get pretty big. They get big, they, then yeah. they're long-lived. Okay. Uh, long-lived, like six, six seven, seven years. Okay. Yeah. And so, you know, with with these beautiful shoals on here, there are lots of groceries, so they have the potential to get huge, as Well, we we've know. caught them up to 28 inches, you know, close to 10 pounds. There's big right. fish in here. So the fishery done a great job. You guys are doing a great job. Beautiful setting. And now, shallow water today, we could have mayflies, like this is time of year, mid-June, Mayflies, maybe Danzel starting. It's prime time, isn't it? No, water temperatures. Yeah. Uh, 56, you were saying? 56, 57 yeah. Fahrenheit. It's perfect. Well, you know what? Let's get at it again. <laughs> we're starting to see a move. We're early, but yeah. we're starting to see a move. So let's keep doing it. That's a boot. Yeah, you know what? This this is good to probably tell everybody. I put on some real light tippet. Yeah. Because I'm not, I don't want to scare them. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of times you'll lose them because you over, you know, you see them eat it. So oh, you want to set the hook. Your reaction is to rip. Yeah, to yeah. rip it. Ah. Oh. That's a nice fish, yeah. right? <laughs> That's awesome. This is great. Shallow water fishing. You just can't beat it, can you? No. We don't get to do enough of it. No kidding. It's, it's a bonus. I love it. Well, you know, the conditions are perfect for the shallow water. We have, you know, dead calm, a oh. little bit of cloud cover. It makes right. it ideal. Yeah, I know, it's fish. And look at the fish. They're, They're in, all what all are they in? Five feet. Yep. You know, six, six, six feet of water. Six and a half feet of water. Gee. Crazy. All right, there he is there. There we go. Ah, oh, nice, nice silver kelt, eh? Yep. Oh, he he's gone. Gone. Oh, we got a few, you know, we got a few fresh fish. You had that silver one. There. Oh, yeah. Well, we do no. have some kelts moving through. We got both. Yep. We got both. But the kelts seem to be eating right now. They yeah. seem to be the more aggressive one. And I think the, the cleaner, immature fish, more of them will come on as the day progresses. Well, we saw it. We've got five or six here, and I see yep. some nice silver fish. Absolutely. So. And I yeah. broke that one off. Oh. We have the double header, Bry. I suppose you want another fly. Uh, sure. sure. It's always good to have the channel along. It's always got the good flies. <laughs> <laughs> Today 
stay on the bench, I'm going to show you a great little pattern that we like to use in shallow water. When we're fishing shoal areas or really shallow water, and I'm talking, you know, four to six feet, this pattern shines, and it's Dawn's little black chronomid. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a size 18 clink hammer dry hook. We'll use some 6 aught black thread to tie with, some fine red wire for the ribbing, some black stretch flex for the body, a small super white bead for the bead, and some fluorescent orange fabric paint for the wing buds. I started the fly off by putting on the bead and tying in my thread. Now I'm going to take my fine red wire and tie it in at the back of the hook. And we'll use this to rib the body up in a little bit later. Once the fine red wire is tied in, take some of your stretch flex and I'll tie it in around the mid part of the hook. And once I've got it in and grabbing, I'll start pulling it. I'll pull it real thin. Chronomids have a very thin body. And I'll wrap this back to the rear of the hook, wind my thread forward, and then start winding in the body. And when you're winding in the body, keep pulling on the stretch flex quite hard at start till you get about halfway up the hook and then ease off and start building up just a slightly tapered body towards the bead. Once the body's tied in we're now going to take our red fine wire and again I take two wraps right at the back of the hook just to form kind of a little red butt on the fly and then take six to seven wraps up the body to form the segmentation. For the next step, I'm going to build up a little bit of thread to form the thorax, and I don't want a whole bunch at the beginning or at the, behind the bead. I just want enough to, to form a slightly tapered body from the bead down to the, to the main body. And once I have a little bit of a taper build up there right at the head, I'm going to whip finish in preparation to put on the wing buds. For the next step, you're going to have to be able to turn your vise. And what I do is like to turn the vise down and on angle because the wing buds on this fly are going to go on each side. We're going to put one wing bud on one side of the fly and then turn it over and put another wing bud on the other side. So you have to have a vise that turns. So now that I have it turned, I'm going to take a little bit of my paint and just put a small dab of my orange paint, fluorescent paint, right from the, from the bead down a little bit into the body, just to form a small orange wing butt on both sides of the fly. Okay, same thing. So this fly has been exceptional everywhere we've used it, especially in shallow water. So again, if you use this fly in deep water, it is effective, but it really comes into its own in shallow water. And I think it's because of those fluorescent orange wing butts it really attracts the fish. Give it a try, I think you're gonna like it. Oh, 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 oh. now he's not happy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the best, babe, right? <laughs> Can't beat it. This is just amazing. Can't beat it. I love watching these fish come and eat it. Oh, that's a nice fish again. Yep. Boy, we got a lot of fish moving in here. Oh. And it's early yet. You know, it's only, uh, what, 9.30? Yeah. Essentially, sure. we just started. We got fish moving all through here, and it's not spooking them. Look at that big fresh fish. <laughs> this guy was fresh. He jumped oh, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. He had some nice leaps. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. Yeah, it's gorgeous fish, nice and fresh. I'll let him go. There you go. Oh. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, there's another one coming after Pop. Yep. Oh, look at that yeah, guy. Yeah, look at that guy. He's eating it. He's darting at it. Eat it. You Eat it. it. Oh, oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. I pulled it out. See, that's the bad he part. Was, he ate it and he swam towards me. But I that's didn't the know. bad part about sight fishing, right? You see it. You see the <gasps> fish come up behind it and eat it, and yet you pull it out of his mouth. And that's what you did, didn't <gasps> you? Well, I got one on mine. I got him. He's coming. Nope. Darted. 
Where'd he go? Mine oh. went that, both of them went that way. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I got a guy on mine. Oh, jeez. Look at that. You know what? I had another guy turn on it. That's the mayfly. So what we've gone through is we had the leech early for the first hour and a half. The, that purple leech they're eating every time. Now they're turning on it. They're not. They're refusing it. We've tried chronomids and mayflies, and we've had the same thing, refusals. Right. So what are you going to try now? You're, I know you're changing over to our well, favorite. I've got the type 7 on. We're going down with the booby. And that's classic. This is booby water, this is booby. what we call booby water. It's got moral bottom. Yeah, the booby floats up off the bottom, and they love it in this kind of stuff. Got to try it. Or it's always worked, so we've yeah, never tried it in this it. lake, so we might as well give it a go, because we have to find out what they're feeding on. That's right. If maybe it's a different color chronomid, we don't know, but the best way is to catch a fish and then throw it samples. There you go. You, we just proved it. First cast. First cast with the booby. Yeah, you, you had the fish. Now, how you fish the booby while well, Brian's fighting this fish, Type 7 line, you want a full sink line that gets you right to the bottom. You want to be right on the bottom because the booby floats up off the bottom. That fish followed it at least, what, 20 feet? Oh, more, even 30 more. feet even. All the way in, kept dabbing, kept jabbing, kept jabbing at it, but I kept <laughs> tweaking it, finally ate it. They just can't resist it for some reason. It just drives them crazy. So a quick throat sample just to see what this guy's been feeding on, if anything. I mean, they're in here. It looks like they're feeding on chronomus. Maybe we just don't have the color. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's got a chronomid in him. Okay. Well, let's All see right. Go. There we go. Let him go. Okay. Ah, nice fish. All right. Let's see what he's been chewing on. You said it looked like a chronomid. Oh, yeah. There's three let's or see four. the color. Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty Ooh, small, baby. eh? Pretty small. Pretty small. What are we thinking? What colors? They're chromies. Chromies? Yeah. All right. And what Brian means, chrome meat, silver, silver, anything, yeah. silver, black rib, uh, red rib, anything works. But those are size, what, uh, 16? 16, 14, 16. 16, yeah, not bad. We should be able to match that. I'm going to pull one on right now. <laughs> so you decided to go, since you got a little chop on the water, Brian decided to go with the indicator. Yeah. Which is a good idea, right? You don't have to fish naked when yeah. you've got a riff to let the bob remove it. Oh, geez, i got to get out there. Look at that one. That's a dandy fish. Sorry, Brian, I'd help you, but... I know you would. That's a fish. There's some nice fish coming in now. Gee, that's a nice one. That's a nice chrome bullet. There we go. There's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah. There he goes. So what was that on, Bry? That was on a, a gunmetal gray. Gunmetal gray. Oh, there a fish on. He just whacked it. That was on the chromey again. Whoa, look at him come towards me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, nice Whoa, fish. This is nice. Whoa. Oh, this is, this is that's silver. A nice this silver is fresh. Fish. Oh, that's look at what we for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that is the perfect example of why you want a throat sample, isn't it, Brian? Yeah, absolutely. It's if critical. we wouldn't have gotten those chromies and seen them, the gunmetal gray, gun gray chrome, it's, it's a winner. You know how we, what we used to tie, too, Brian, is that anti-static bag. I know. And it, they work great, anti-static bag chronum, as we call them. Yep. Gunmetal gray, just is a great color. This guy's fresh. Oh, yeah. And he, he did not hesitate. He, he, he just charged it. Not a big guy, but nice, nice silver. That guy, Bry, he came from way out there and he came 100 miles an hour to eat that. He did not hesitate. That's what we want to see. And so you're going to, there's a chromie right on the side of the lip. Oh, yeah. There's there. So we should just have a quick look at this guy because he's a nice, immature fish. Yeah. Probably just came onto the shoal. Just keep him in the water. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's got a lot he's of eating. Feet. He's eating. Yeah, and he aggressively. Don't let that guy oh, go yeah. down. Grab him and let him go. He's just a nice, but he was hot. Nice oh, silver yeah. fish. Oh yeah. You know, little guy, but just, he's feeding. <laughs> the beauty about catching fish in shallow water too is they'll come screaming off your line. They got nowhere to go. They either take to the air or they scream out towards deeper water. And that's, that's all, you know, that's all the fun, I think. Oh right yeah. Now. This guy went way into the back. Yeah, Look at him he rip. took you way into the this back. This guy is not happy. And I like seeing a little vapor trail on the <laughs> morrow too when they go. It's just like, phew. My guy took you to the air, your guy screamed. <gasps> Look at him go. Boat, how big was that fish we just saw swim well, by? Five and a half, six, six pounds. pounds. He swam right by the boat while we were talking the there. I can't believe this fish is hot. Yeah, how big was it? Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> 
I'll get the net ready. My fly isn't safe left out there. Ah, yes. Look at that. Oh, it's got some nice meat to them. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. Right where you get them in the chronomid, right yep. in the top lip. Oh, there's a white swan fish. That is, nice chunky fish. I'll hold the oh, net yeah. for you. Oh, that's, you know, that's, uh, how big? 18, maybe Oh, 20, yeah, deep. 20 deep, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, the fly's out. Oh, the fly out. just came out. So now you've got the gun metal gray. Yeah, right? gun metal gray chromies, chromie. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. we got to look at this guy. Gorgeous. Isn't that nice? That's a pretty fish. Oh, that's a pretty fish. That's, and really thick across yeah. the back. That's what I like. Oh, I love that. And he screamed. He took you off in oh. your way into your backing. Uh, can't ask for more than no. that, eh? Catch him again. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I help you out and I got him an extra shower. What a guy. Well, you know what we should talk about, too, is a recommended setup. Yeah. You know, I'm using a four-way rod, a 10-foot four-way, and I prefer to use a 10-foot in the lake. So yeah. you got a wide open loops, better cast. Yeah. Still have them getting rid of all the water on my face. And I see you've got the indicator. What are you using? I'm using a 10-foot five weight 10 with foot the five. indicator. Yeah. So 10 footers. Well same. 10 footers, right? Great for lakes. Big wide open loops, when, especially when you have indicators. That's right. And if you really got to cast sometimes, you really have to cast that long distance in here to get away yeah. to where the fish are. So recommended setup, definitely 10 foot rods, four or five weights. He ate that as a fly was thinking. I just casted it, sat down, grabbed the water, and then my line tightened up. But look at this, look at this guy here. Look at how long this fish is. Like, he's a kelp, but it's gonna be a nice fish. You know, once he bulks up a bit, yep. he's 20 plus inches. Oh, gee, and he wanted to go. Go on. Tough, really good day, right? But oh, tough yeah. now, we're getting blown off the water. Well, the weather's really We went from plus 25 to what, plus 10? If in that. like a half an hour? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the wind really came up. So we cranked back to the bow launch, we're right there. Decided to play a little bit right in front of here, but I want to thank you for the great day as always. Yeah. We had a blast. Great trip. Hope everybody learned a bunch about shallow water fishing. I mean, we, we showed you everything today. We showed you the old naked technique. We did a little indicator later, but it was a good day all around. Oh, and we had great action. The sight fishing can't beat that. You cannot beat it. Anyways, White Swan Lake, when you come up here, Take care, conserve the waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. I got one more cast left one in this more. rod though. One more. Want more information? Visit us at sfotf.ca. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.